Hello, welcome to the Craft House Magic YouTube channel. My name's Ellie and today I'm going to show you two new patterns that I'm releasing. You'll be able to get them both on Ravelry and also my website. So the first of which is a sock pattern and I have four pairs of these socks to show you. Ta -da! They are the Starlight Wishes socks and they are a pattern that is a top-down pattern and you can knit them in either DK weight yarn, which is this one here, or a four ply yarn. And I'll pick the cream pair because you can probably see the pattern a little bit better. So you can knit them in both DK and four ply yarn. The instructions for both are included and there is three sizes for each of the weights of yarn as well so that you can pick the one that would fit you. So like I said, it's a top down sock pattern with a heel flap and gusset and it has some lace and some aster stitches and some bobbles on the top of the sock. The aster stitch and the lace here is to represent a shooting star and then you've got the stars in the night sky and I couldn't resist adding some little bobbles to the top of the sock to represent a snowball fight at midnight under the stars. So those are the examples I've got to show you. So these are the Starlight Wishes sock yarn, which I sold as a kit um, a couple of months ago and has already been shipped out to those of you who have pre-ordered it. Um, but I will be releasing this colourway next year. I won't be releasing it until next year now. And then I have a dark grey pair as well. So the pattern works well in all different colours of yarn, but I would say that the less busier colourways show up the detail in the pattern more. So I designed this pattern to have lots of detail up here and then be a plain foot so that if you're knitting it in the time running up to Christmas, when you get into that busy time, you're on the plain bit of the foot and it's a lot easier to concentrate than having to do all the detail part up here. I will pop in some footage now so that you can see the actual socks a little bit better rather than me just holding them up. Details of the size of needles etc are both on the Ravelry page and on the listing on my website as well. But for the DK pair you need 4.5mm needles and for the, and for the four ply pair you're going to need a 2.5mm needle. So the second pattern that I've got to show you is a blanket pattern. I haven't quite finished the blanket, I have two on the go to show you, but the first one where it's done a little bit more is this one. So this is the triangulum pattern and it's basically made of small triangular units that you can knit with either four ply or DK weight yarn and you can use 2.75 millimeter needles for the four ply um, version and 4.5 millimeters for the DK version. This one here is four ply and you can see all and you can see all the little triangles that form the blanket. So it's quite an easy pattern to memorize. Once you've done one, it's really, really easy. And I would say that it is actually easier than the mitered square blanket to memorize, um, just because the decreases are far simpler than the mitered square blanket, the cozy memories blanket. I haven't yet put an eye cord binding around this one, but it is the size of a sort of baby quilt. And I've got a couple of ends I need to sew in, but that's nearly done. So the texture of the blanket has these triangles all over it. And you can actually, you could utilize the fact that you've got triangles making hexagons to make like a, a pattern similar to like a quilt pattern all over. But here I've just used all different colors that I think go really well together. So I suggest using an eye cord wind off. Like I said, I haven't finished it on this particular one, but I do have another item of knitting that I've done an eye cord wind off before. So it should have a nice edging like that. But of course you could choose a different edging if you didn't want to do the eye cord bind off. I have, however, linked some tutorials to how I do an eye cord bind off, how I join the ends, etc. So those tutorials may be helpful to you if you haven't done an eye cord bind off before. So there we go, that is my first version. Most of these squares were knitted by my lovely mother-in-law Liz. And this one here is what I've been knitting on in a more jewel tone colour scheme. So I thought it would be really nice to pick out all my sort of darker yarns to go together. And here I'm actually working in a hexagonal shape rather than in the rose 
um, of the blanket to make it in, in an unusual hexagonal finished shape in the end. So there we go, that's how it looks. You can see that as I'm knitting them, the this triangles actually stick out a little bit with, when they haven't been blocked, but when they've been blocked or just with the weight of the other triangles around them, they tend to flatten out. So there we go. That's the two patterns that I'm releasing today. If you actually purchase the patterns early, you'll get 10% off. So if you purchase the any of these two patterns before Sunday, 5th of December, you will get a 10% off. So you don't need a special code for it. It will be automatically applied. But of course, you'll need to purchase it before the end of the 5th of December. So don't forget that. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!